So it's like the salon has really been a vehicle for me to really stay connected to like my roots. I love that. I gotta bring you. What? Oh, to, to the, the salon. I would love to go. They be doing like, oh, hold on, who could twerk better? And we put on music. Stop and it. Of course. I need, you know, I would go purely for that to learn some moves. That's it. I'm Honey German. My parents are Dominican. I was born and raised in New York City. I love sneakers, and I'm a body-positive advocate. I'm Carolina Bermudez. Soy Nicaragüense, but I was born and raised in Ohio. I'm a wife, a mama, and a worker bee. This This is is Life Life in Spanglish. Spanglish. What's going on, guys? It's Carolina. I'm Carolina Bermudez, and I am getting to the bottom of this investigation. (laughs) And I'm Honey German, and today I am in the interrogation seat. No, we need to rewind because um, if you guys have been listening to our podcast, Life in Spanglish, first of all, thank you. We appreciate it. Every single one of you guys. It's a li- it's a labor of love, you know, because it's like we don't have to. We want to do this We together. do, and we squeeze it in. Pause. Um, because our time is so limited. <laughs> she said pause. So, no, <laughs> I've been learning so much about honey. And one of the things that I wanted to say, it's like, first of all, we have seen each other at work but mm-hmm. it's not like we necessarily get to like hang out with one another because our lives move in totally two different directions yeah 100 percent. but there have been a number of things that we've discussed just on this podcast alone like when i'm driving home and i'm just like damn like uh, we live such different lives we really do it's crazy because i don't feel outside of here we would have ever found each other i know and i love it that's so do like, i oh it's gosh. so random like, but you teach me things like there are so Same many you. yeah discoverable moments that i've learned just from listening to you like i'm gonna take it back even to the conversation where we talked about like home finances yeah you know and um you had mentioned to me that uh just referring back to that episode that d- i swear that like remember when oprah said the light bulb moment yeah I'm like, oh my gosh, like this is the way that people do things now. Yeah, it, it is. It, it really is. We're very like in tune with everything that's happening right now. I'm very into like social media apps you're and stuff current, like that. Popping, I'm very yeah. current with everything. Yeah. So I kind of bring it into the home. So I don't have like the traditional maybe uh, ways that other homes might function. Which doesn't mean that the way you're doing it or I'm doing it is wrong. No. It's just that it's, it's like totally, me, it's it was, just totally different. It's totally different. But then this is so funny, honey, because once we we had that conversation I was talking to my mom about something and we were like I I had helped organize my father's 75th birthday oh my god yes yeah and so she said to me she was like oh okay so I can send you a check I go mom why don't you just Venmo me and she and I said I was like honey would be so proud I would be so proud (laughs) and she goes y que eso I said mom it's Venmo you know you just put in your debit card she's like I know no, 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 no. Yeah, older people don't like they that. They don't like it. They not putting in their banking information in any app. She flat out refused. And so I said to her, I go, I can literally get that money like between today and tomorrow. Yeah. Like why? And now you're going to send a me a check. check from Florida. It'll get here by uh, Tuesday of First next of all, you'll week. never make it to the damn bank to deposit it. Right. I know. And then my mobile banking, every time I try to take a picture, my like, it's just, it's a joke. So mm. I, and you came into my mind at that moment where I was just like, this is really the way to do things now. Yeah. Yeah, you know things have changed a lot but then you talk to me about your salon experiences which i need to go back on and then my salon experiences are super old school yeah because you have a standing appointment yes every saturday now what do you get done do not use the word appointment because that doesn't exist oh yeah that's that's right salon yeah (laughs) well at least not on the weekends okay so then what do you get done on like let's say just a rant like what what do you go for? okay every single saturday depending on how my friday went i might Uh get up at 7 a.m this is ridiculous because the doors open at eight and you want to be in line right you you don't even if it's like 10 degrees we're all outside in line there's no tickets or anything we just give each other the eye like you saw me here first don't play oh my gosh it's that serious it is that serious you know and then we all just stand there in the cold till whoever opens the salon gets there and then whoever gets there is like who's first and, le- and let's get this pop and then it's get- almost like the honor system like you know you know this young lady yeah in front you of know you was who there. was in front you of you can't be that yeah girl. no there's not gonna be sometimes there's people that's like oh my god i have to be somewhere at 10 and now would you would you go ahead like are you gonna do them the favor and say all right i don't have anywhere to be today or are you like no this is my spot oh no no first of all i don't even 
even know you like that. Like, I would be and there I got, until I'm, four o'clock in the afternoon. You probably would be, be like, oh, okay, go ahead. You have a wedding? No, it could be a bride. I'd be like, girl, you should have hired somebody to go to your house because honestly, I love it. I gotta go see Michelle Obama later. That's it. Um, yeah, no. So it's like the, the doors open, and then you know who's doing what. Like, so then, what do you do? Do you is this like an actual color appointment, or is this like a, no? Just a blowout? I just style my hair. Well, I have extensions, and I can't wash this at home because right. it could get tangled. It could be. You know, it can end very badly. So they wash it and then they roller set it. I have to stay under the dry for an hour and 40 minutes for all these extensions to actually dry. Oh, it's because of the bundles. The bundles. I'm a slave Got to the it. salon oh, because of the bundles. I can't wash this why. at home. Because I was wondering, I'm like, why Why can't you just wash but your even, hair? But even if I always had, well, first of all, my hair is like uh-huh. super curly. That okay. It's like impossible for me to possibly, I could probably blow dry the bangs because I could see them in the front, like the back of my neck. And like your the arms get area. hella tired. That's, I'm sorry. It, no. no. And I've ordered the stuff on Amazon where you put the blow dryer in and then you, nope, don't bother. It's the 25 The thing that be sucking that your hair you, in? Yes. I'd be scared. I'm like, my hair's going to rip no, right no, out. No. Scalp. no, what it is, it's a stand, and you put the blow dryer inside of it, and then you just position your head so that it's blowing. It's like this oh, you see my cousins, seat. the ones with blanquita see? hair, they could do that, not me. It doesn't work. I'm telling you, save your twenty five ninety nine. It's like, and then you got to go into the post office. It becomes a whole thing. But so go ahead. You wash it. You dry your under the dryer. You know, it's like if five of us are under the dryer, it, number one gets her hair straightened. You know, you, when you take the rollers out, you got to straighten yeah. it out. Uh-huh. So it's like one through five. Like you have to wait your you return to be styled. Wow. So once the hair is dry, you decide what style, and that's when you get to see like boss lady. My girl's name is Janiris. She's Dominican. She owns I the salon. See la Janiris. Yeah, yeah. Yes, uh-huh. exactly. That's the big. That's the big boss when it comes to the hair. And then you get to you know sit in her chair, and she's like, "What are we doing today?" So then when you go, do you do something so that you could like maybe switch your style like come Wednesday? Like I, so you don't wash your hair all week. Um, no. Okay, I won't. You wait for I'll them use, to like, do it. I'll use like some dry shampoo. Yeah, I don't. The dry I, I wait for them. Lifesaver. I wait mm-hmm. for them to do it because sometimes I might put it up. Sometimes I might, you know, put it but in a bun. But pretty much, you're staying with that much, style for exactly. the week. Exactly. So they'll they'll wand it or they'll curl it or they'll flat you iron. You need to find me a Dominican salon on Long Island. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I got you, you girl. Tell listen me. to me. You have to tell me. I want a really good got tight braid. I, listen, I used to live in Long Island. I know. You I, gotta I, give I got me the you. goods. There's a good Dominican salon in Limburg. I can put you on. Okay. That used to be my hairstylist for like 12 years till I moved. That's where I'm gonna go and get my blowout. She, listen, she will have you out here with a blowout that last a whole seven days. I Listen, I'm not mad at it. The thing is, the difference between you and I is that I go to this hot yoga and I will sweat my face off and it's <laughs> disgusting. And oh. they say, oh, just put water in your hair or do uh, dry shampoo. Says who? I don't want to, my the stylist that I that I went to That's not said, gonna, isn't your hair wet after hot yoga? My hair is wet and my hair gets like, um, I don't know what the right way to describe it is. It's like, it's not even like a sexy beach wave. It is a tired old, like, I, I know mean, what you're talking about. It, you know what I'm talking Kinda about? Kind of like a mixture of cotton candy and waves. Yes. I know what you're talking about. With that's, a little bit of seaweed. And it's like, no, it's not cute. It's not a thing. There's nothing cute about it. So it's like, that's why I, I wear my hair up a lot your or in a bun. Well, thank you. But my salon experience is so different from yours because I will literally call and be like, hi, do they have an appointment today? I have an hour between now and four o'clock before my kids go oh, to school. I know who you are. They probably hate you. They can't. Yeah, come Carolina stand me. asking for a same day appointment. Yeah, absolutely, because that's the only way I can do it. And my hair is gray, by the way. I turn gray every three weeks. Are you serious? Mm-hmm. And you have this beautiful I like, do. like a, a newborn baby brown in the front that's no, so pretty. No, well thank you. That's that's my girl Jess. So I have to go there like and I have to just squeeze it in. There's no relaxation to it. You're like hanging out with the oh, girls. Oh yeah, listen, I'm asleep under the dry. I got your mouth. Sometimes I wake up. I'm like, I think my mouth was open and I was snoring. Dude, that's fine. That's fine. You were relaxing. One thing about going to the salon, it, it actually makes me feel like I'm back in Dominican Republic. Well, it's the culture. It's like so you we're get chatting to go it up. There. We're chatting it up. We're talking in Spanish, and it feels good. It just, it's weird. It's like it is a big waste of time. Sometimes, sometimes I'm there three, four hours. Like I can get there at 10 a.m. and I leave there till three in the afternoon. Mm-hmm. But then when I leave, it's like I discuss things. I talked about marriage. We talk about sex. We talk about surgeries we talk about everything this is like that movie that they did like the barbershop but it's the yeah, opposite it it's is like the, the salon it is and you know what i'm actually very envious because you know they say if you don't use a language you lose it and so i find that i struggle a lot when i speak spanish because i don't get to use it i mean there's nobody around where i live that you know speaks spanish i mean i do have a, a couple of girlfriends yeah. but you know you i feel like you get that 
that experience every single week and that's invaluable yeah to no me. i definitely do and i and i hear like what they're eating they're cooking and then they're like ah yo voy a ver anthony santo in in, in mama juana in patterson and i'm like well i want to go too yeah. i want to be dominican too you're in it i that's am what in I'm it saying. Like, and, that, and that's it. a beauty of it you know and i always know like when sergio vargas is coming from dominican republic and like we're gonna go uptown who wants to come so it's like the salon has really been a vehicle for me to really stay connected to like my roots i love that I gotta bring you. What? Oh, to, to the, the salon. I would love to go. They be doing like, oh, hold on, who could twerk better? And we put it on music. Stop and it. Of course. I need. You know, I would go purely for that to learn some moves. That's it. Oh yeah, no, hundred percent. I really don't move because I'm kind of like the shy person in public. But I'd be watching and I'd be like, yes, Granny, with the uh, tummy tuck and the liposuction, getting it in That's with your right. Brazilian jeans. Because why did she get it then? I'm jealous. She looks good. <laughs> go work it. You know, my husband was making fun of me because I lost my mind the other day. We drove by. And it, a pollo campero and I was like oh my mm. god a pollo campero I was like I feel like I'm at home for real pull over <laughs> I know right well I want I want you to list your top five honey salon etiquette top five rules when you're going to the salon with honey okay listen when you're going to the I salon I love how you should wait by the way you didn't see that there was a visual she put down her coffee cup she said okay here we go let's get this together let's get this going number one is be mindful of who's there before you. Do not act stupid and try to skip the line. We're right. not going to let that happen. We probably will jump you. There's nothing cute about it. At all. Okay. All right. So, you know, be mindful of yes. your place in line. Yes. Okay. Bring a picture of what you want because the hairstylist cannot be, you know, all in your mind talking about I want it brown in the root and then light blonde here and, and then bleach blonde at the end. Bring a damn picture. We need because examples. Because you, you're killing my stylist and I need her to be in a good, sane space of mind. And it'll help keep it snappy. Exactly. That's number two. Go ahead. Number three. Number three. Do not talk to the hairstylist while I am in the chair. What? I will cut you. You'll be here standing the whole damn time, asking her questions, showing her pictures. She needs to focus on my hair. Okay. You playing games with me. But now who is worse? Is it the stylist for uh, entertaining this conversation or is it the person for starting the conversation? It's the person for starting the conversation. Okay. When I'm in the chair, please don't, don't. Just don't because this is my time. Now, would you ever say something like, hey, can you step I off have. after? I really have. Really? I'll oh my like, gosh. I honey, have. I can't, I can't after even a little. You. while i will say you are a pit bull i love it ma i gotta get out of here soon just just give us like 10 minutes we're almost done oh see but that's like a nice way of putting it it's a nice way of putting it you know but but, but you've but been it's told like gtfo exactly yeah yeah number okay, four number four don't move none of my stuff Ooh. don't move my jacket don't move my pocketbook oh. don't move my products you know, t people be people be out of pocket moving people's pocketbooks. The other day, I was like, "Where is my bag? Where is my bag?" Oh, such and such. Put it. Oh, don't do that. Oh, especially, especially touch? if you're, especially if you're a customer. Yeah. Or sit on my shit. I, I, I've been like, "Where's my jacket? Where's my jacket?" Somebody's big old ass is on it. I'm like, <laughs> "You ain't see that jacket before you sat on that couch?" And it's all warm now. <laughs> it's like warm. For like, real. I'm like in the neck area. You're like, I do not want to put your ass on my neck. No, right now, now, now I got to do that. And and um, round it out. The top five. The, the, the top five most important. Yeah. Don't ask me any questions about my hair. Don't be like, is that all your hair? How do you have your extensions? Is this information we don't share, like where you got your extensions? Well, if you're like... if you're a customer, it's just like talk to the hairstylist, do okay. your own thing. But don't be proby. You know, okay. I've had that. Like, okay, so what color is that? And then how long is your real hair? And where do the extensions act? See, like, why do I have to? I feel like I don't I'm being do that. interrogated. Exactly. I don't want to mm -hmm. do that, especially if I don't know you. When I leave, ask the stylist. I want exactly what she had. That's that's some great salon etiquette. And I think that it's helpful to our listeners. I think it's been helpful to me. <laughs> and I, it's pure comedy. And you know what? No, I really would love to do a field trip to your salon one day. Let's and go. like just be in the moment. And I swear to you. Let's do it. And shout out to all my followers that go to my salon. You know, it's crazy. It's like my stylist is like, oh, my God, the girl that just left had your picture in her camera roll. Oh my gosh, what? And I'm that like, are you so serious? Flattering. And I'd be so shattered and looking so destroyed, half of them probably don't even recognize me. What? I go there looking like crap, bro. No, girl. No. But wait, listen, this is another question that I have for you, and I'm totally veering off topic, but like, when you put on someone like that, like mm -hmm. your salon, right? Mm -hmm. And there's like a bunch of people going, do you ever like in the back of your mind thinking to yourself, damn, I shouldn't have told everybody about this. This was like my spot. And no, now no. You, you know what I say? When what? you be like, oh, I came here because of you. Where's my discount? <sighs> 
immediately. I'd be like, <laughs> you already know I'm not paying today, do you? And she'd be laughing. She's super dope, though. She always gives me like discounts and, and hooks that. me up. But I love when people are there and they're like, hi, honey, I came because you tagged her. Immediately, my eyes go to the owner. Yep. You already know what time it is. You know what it is. That's honey. I not paying. Not paying so today. Great. I'm not paying today. See, yeah. and I'm la tonta over there in Long Island paying full price for everything. Uh-uh, I mean, nope. What the hell is wrong with me? Carolina, no. Nope. Star- I know. See, How, this is we're, we're taking a, a field trip to Patterson. That's where I go get my hair done. I cannot wait. Mad this Dominicans is so in good. Patterson. I love this. No, because <laughs> I really do. I need somebody to like show me the way. And I honestly do. I'll eke out like a good, you know, I'm, I'm decent at like doing my own hair, but there's nothing like getting styled and like walking oh, no. out feeling like a million bucks. No, for real. And you go to your own salon in Long Island. I do. What I are do. your What are your top five <laughs> salon etiquettes? I I want to hear what what really grinds your gears when you know. go to get your hair done. Oh, honestly, okay, wait. So let me see. You know what? I cannot stand. This is like for real, for real. Don't be putting your feet up. Like, do not. It's do where they not, put their feet up at. This is number one. You know when they're washing out your hair, mm-hmm. like in my salon, they have those like really fancy like. I know what you're talking about. Do you we know have what I'm that too. Uh-huh. Yeah, and they have like the recliner chairs. But there are some people who put their like gross, grubby boots all over it, where like my legs are gonna be. Oh, like if you perch your legs yes, up. Yes. Like it. if you put your legs up, that bothers me. Yeah, that, I've done it before though. I feel terrible. Well, no, I mean we all we all do. I it. know. I and I see the owner. I'm like, oh shit, I'm dirtying her stuff. Yeah. So I'm trying to think. Because because I can barely make it to the salon. Um, let me see. What's number two? I don't like when people touch my stuff. And honestly, like, I have been more aware. I don't take a bunch of stuff into the salon anymore. I have to do that because I take, like, I might as well bring a rolling suitcase with yeah, me to the salon. I don't. I don't even bring my my purse, my handbag, or my pocketbook. Nothing. I, I go in with literally, like, just my, my cash. And then I always carry my credit card on my phone. Mm-hmm. So I'll go in with those two things. I'll go in with cash to tip and my credit card. Oh, no. Because... I, I, I have a shopping bag of hair that we could use that well, I bring with me. Well, for the record, I have never gotten extensions, but I would love to see what my hair would look like with them. Ooh, I feel like I would look like a lioness. Very J-Lo. I feel like well, I can see it. Very J-Lo. With a fan. Oh, did, Here we go. Now she you. want a fan, like Beyonce. <laughs> remind me to tell you about the time my hair got caught in a fan. That was hilarious. Number three, I don't even know. I'm trying to think. Um. Oh, you know what bothers me is when people come to tip my girl when she's doing my hair. Really? Like when she's in the mix. She and then they money, do, though. No, but there's an envelope at the front. Oh, because y'all for fancy. Y'all got envelopes and stuff. Yes. We don't. We don't no, got that. There's an envelope right there, you know, like. Leave it in the front. Leave it in the front because gotcha. she's literally doing my hair. And then there's that awkward, like, oh, oh, I don't have a pocket. Oh, uh, do you want to put it yeah, over because, here? Yeah, because like, they always never want the money. It's like weird, like, oh, put it here in my right. back pocket. Right. Okay. My third thing is like, if you're going to have a conversation, which I'm positive that my salon is way different from yours, but if you're going to have a private conversation, don't have it while people are like right there in front of you. Because I overheard a woman just totally getting down with like her husband, like not in a good way, like really, really like bitching him oh, out. Oh, we shared sex tips. See, no. And that's like, but see, that's the difference. Long, they're all crabby. <laughs> they're just like, they're just mad. So um, that's number four. I don't know. I'm trying to think of my fifth one. I've been to salons in Long Island. And let me tell you what they tell, They're not as tell exciting me, or Tell fun. me how much it's going to be before I sit in this chair, though. Girl, who you telling? Seriously. And I have to do that's why I say I do my hairline touch up every three to four weeks I have to do my glaze and then it's like you know I don't want to come out here looking like you know Cruella I know you have one more though Carolina there's got to be oh one God. more oh don't be leaving your nasty wet towels everywhere people leave their towels like what is wrong with you like how are you raised I Who cannot raised st- you I cannot stand that because clearly there's a hamper if you have a wet towel, because some of the women go in and then they don't get their hair blown out. Mm-hmm. So they'll like put their hair up in what? a wet towel. Yeah. That's and a they'll thing go to, to like a hair station. Wet? Well, they have like a station set up. They won't let us. It's like, no, girl, we got to see how this color came out. They got to make that money. Uh, uh, they got to yeah. make that extra. What, how much is a blowout at your place? I don't want to tell you. No, what? Tell me. Just it, write it down. I'll write it no, out. No, but you know what? There's Here, give different, me a pen. I'm going to write it prices. out. There's different prices. I know there, there is like different prices, but. That's great. Yeah. That's an amazing price. Are you kidding me? I'll drive to Patterson for the <laughs> price from Long Island. I'm not even kidding you. So, yeah, sometimes the women will like, you know, and I've done it too. Like, you're in a rush. Sometimes it falls. 
yeah. I guess. Yeah, but I mean, those are my salon tips. I you, listen. You're you got to kick it and be like, oh, you dropped something. You're coming to the wrong one because I don't even get to spend that much time there. So I'm literally watching. Uh, what are the What is the show with Chip and Joanna Gaines? What's that show? What is that? That they they have on Home Improvement Channel all the time. Oh no, we just got about shot that going from someone's phone. See, I and every time come. they get a text, it's like bling. That is bling. hype. I'm like, I gotta we go. fix this. I gotta go. I'm. Go- that's it. Forget it. I'm going to Jersey to blow out my hair. I'll tell my husband I'll be back on Wednesday. <laughs> For I'm real. On Saturday. <laughs> we need to get you a hotel room. On Wednesday. <laughs> tell my kids I love them. No, because it's just so far. It's it like is so it would far. take me three hours to get there. Oh my god, I'm with traffic. Done. I'm done with what you. Else, what else? What else were we gonna talk about? Should were we, we gonna talk? Should about? we do an email? A, a listener email. Listen, you guys. Want to? You guys can always hit us up. We're always down to give you maybe not the best advice, but we'll give you some advice. I mean, we'll tell you what we think. For real. You. It, the email is um life um life in Spanglish podcast at gmail dot com. Yes, and you can hit us on the socials um at li spanglish on Twitter and Instagram, or you can give us a like on Facebook. Give Tam- us a like. También, that's a thing. And now we're gonna go to the salon. Vamos al salon. Oh yeah, let's take you to the salon. That's when me and Carolina <laughs> act as therapists. That's it. Okay. Okay, let's do Go it. Go ahead. You want me to read it? Yeah, you can read okay, it. Okay, this, uh, this says, oh boy, I need help. Would like to leave this anonymous in case my boo listens, but I recently moved in with my boyfriend of four years. It's been a disaster to say the least. We have had a long distance relationship while I was in Florida getting my master's. I would stay at his place or he would stay at mine while I was in school. But living together 24-7, this is my own personal hell. Damn. I never knew how messy he was. Uh, We get into arguments over the pettiest things. I want this to work, but at this point, what can I do? Ooh, well, you've been with your man for how long, honey? Too damn long. You guys, when did you move in together? No, I'm just joking. (laughs) Um. (laughs) She doesn't, Nooney. We love you. I love you. I love you. Um, Um, How long, how old were you when you moved in? We were young. We're like, I was like 22 or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. But I'll tell you this much. When we moved in at the beginning, it wasn't easy. It was very hard. And he didn't know if he wanted to stay living with me because he didn't know how to live with someone. That's, and you we, took and, it out of my, and we, just... ha- we had to give it time. You know, at the beginning, he was just very resistant. Like, I don't know if this is going to work. And then fast forward now, he tells me that uh, having to answer to someone or having to come home or having to say where he was going was really messing with him and he just couldn't he didn't know if he was going to be able to do it and I was like well I wasn't even asking you anything he's like yeah but before it's like if I didn't want to come home I didn't come home or if I didn't want to come home from work I didn't have to come home from work right after you know it didn't have to do with the messiness because he's super like tidy and stuff but it had to do with getting accustomed to the fact that you live with someone now that you answer to someone now and that you're gonna have to deal with with their ways and this is what what she's going through right now I think it's a totally different dynamic and you literally took the words right out of my mouth because um you can have siblings you can live with a roommate but when you live with someone who is your significant other Mm -hmm. it's a whole different set of problems you know especially in the beginning so my husband and I moved in uh together after six months of dating and we moved to Brooklyn and when I tell you we were breaking up six months of dating yeah Mm -hmm. I mean we just knew but I was older it was I was also older which no the fact that you knew after six months that you wanted to live with him I knew that means it's special I knew after the first like couple of times that I met him I was like oh my gosh like like, this this my man I call he don't know it yet I told my man I told well he didn't know but I told my mom (laughs) I was like I this is the guy I'm gonna marry my husband I did I did and then I wanted to kill him when we moved in together because it was just you know what it is? We were so, we were much older, I believe, like, you know, than, than most people. You were 22. I believe I was like 30. You become set in your own ways. You know what you want. You know how you like You're things. You're an adult. You're an adult. And yeah. then you come into this other person who's had their own ways and their own, like. Did you guys come from, like, your own apartments? Yes. Yeah, you see, we came from, our, like, our parents' houses. So that's where the difference is yeah. because he lived in Florida. I believe, wait, let me see. He lived in Florida? Yeah, mm-hmm. she was in Florida. And they both had their own space. And they yeah. both had their own space. And that's the reason why when Mark and I decided to live together, we were like neutral territory. He lived on Long Island. I lived in Hoboken. We moved to Brooklyn. We discovered the city together. Oh, that's You're, amazing. You know, and so that's a lot mm. of the reason why we did that was because we we're just like, no, I'm not moving into your territory. Yeah. You're not moving into mine. I did the same thing. You know, so like we rented out both places and then we, we lived in our apartment together. But um, I think that you have to look at the bigger picture because there were so many times where I 
I would get so upset about things that he would do. And you're right. It is the pettiest stuff. Eating my leftovers from last night without asking me. I will cut you behind right, that. But you know what, though? He was hungry. Like this that. is the love of your life, and he was hungry. So First of all, you ate all your food at the restaurant. Let now the you're going to eat mine, too? Let the go, girl. No. Let it go. You know, so those are the things where it's like you have to pick your battles. And I know that it's incredibly it's difficult. Irky. It's irky as hell. I think that's what it is. He would leave the toothpaste that... Dr- even talking about it right now just drives me crazy. Like when you see the toothpaste spit, like the extra toothpaste. Yeah. Do you guys know what I'm talking I about? So I'll much. show you. It's on the side <laughs> of the sink. Drives me bananas. And I would tell him all the time, like, all you got to do is just rinse it. Just, it just takes just, one second. All it is. And so finally, you know what? It wasn't that I had to learn how to live with it. I had to learn how I coped with it. Yeah. And then after a while, you know what? He got the message. Mm-hmm. So I think that maybe right now, you guys, this is all so brand new. It's an adjustment period. You're going to have to give yourself some time and you're going to have to really, really give him the benefit of the doubt if he's leaving his crap all around and if it's just being inconsiderate you got to let him know in the nicest way you know what i mean you want me to tell you one thing you know what helped me a lot um having opposite schedules really so it kind of let us feel like we still had our own space and you had your own life still a little yes, bit you got to a come home bit. and decompress without him being there you know use the bathroom without wondering if he knows i'm in here pooping you know what oh, i'm saying i we- hate that it's like oh my god jesus christ what are you doing in there I'm taking a shit leave me alone can we talk about that for a second I know oh we're, we're running so long right we now. We are but I running don't care. long, but I don't shit. care. But no, wait, can I just tell you something? What? I said this to my husband the other day. Every time, without fail, I st- I nair my mustache. Okay, let's just put it out there. I just I use. <laughs> You're the brave. Nair. I would never put nair nowhere well, near no, my face in case it burned off. I have to be very careful though because uh, yeah. of my creams and stuff like yeah. that. So I nair. Don't you use retinol? Yeah, I do, but I don't use retinol two days before I nair it. So Got there's it. like a whole situation. There's a science right? behind this. It's like he has a radar every time. And I'm like, oh, he's with the kids. He's playing video games. I'm going to go in. It's seven minutes, honey. Seven <laughs> minutes. This mofo finds me. He sniffs me out, nose in. And I'm like, give me a minute. Give me a minute. And he's like, what? I know. You sound all he nervous gives, and shit. I know. He, what are you doing in there? <laughs> he still walks in. And I said to him the other day, I go, if there is a crime scene and somebody told you don't go, you would walk head straight walk just all over right it. in. I'm like, step over the body and shit. I'm literally telling you, don't walk in here and he's like I can't take you seriously with that pink mustache on your face I'm like I'm trying to get rid of my mustache you're not supposed to see me with this you're not supposed to see me so those are the things where it's like it drives me crazy but you know what like when you're living with somebody, everything is fair game. It really is. It really, it really. There really. are things that he shout has out to seen Andrew. Andrew, I don't know Andrew. how we don't hear him laughing in the background. I he know. internalizes all his laughter, but this he laughs. Poor kid. He's gonna explode one day. He is. But I, I want to see it. It's entertaining to watch. But yeah, so when you're living with somebody, you have to like. There are some things that you have to give up, and there are some things that they enhance. And that's the other thing too. Mm. You know, you have to keep it in perspective. You might be living in a better place because you guys are living yeah, together. No, listen, you in know? New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, you need that double income then you might be saving some extra money because you're living together so you know he might see you wiping your ass but that's fine oh no you know? i don't like, want that <laughs> that is so not sexy <laughs> um so anyway i hope we helped you and what remember her name? no anonymous because um, oh ano- of course she's gonna be anonymous behind this she doesn't want the boo to find doubt so thank you for visiting the salon exactly and honey you take care of that girl you take care of the salon because this is your spot i will <laughs> <laughs> bye guys bye guys oh wait did we say for them to hit us up on uh, li spanglish yeah just go ahead and give us a like or a follow li, LI spanglish. spanglish plus peace